Saturday morning show presented by 419 The Grind. Hey. Welcome back, welcome back. You are That's tuned in song. to the all new Rise and Grind morning show with Leah Renee, Shay K, Clyde Green, and Jay. We got our girl Ness here, guest co hosting with us. Ness, yes. Ness. And we have our new guest in the building. It's our boy Roshan Jones hey. with Soul City Boxing and Wrestling Gym. Thank you for That's coming it. in. Hey, hey, how's the energy? Hey. How you feeling this morning? I'm feeling good. Do I got to have a headphone on? Yep. And yeah. this Kinda. <laughs> if you want to hear yourself. Yeah. I don't. If you want to hear what's going yeah, on, <laughs> you know? Okay, then you can take them off. You don't have to have them on. <laughs> so thank you for coming in. <laughs> Make sure you get close to the mic, though. You got to stay close to the mic. Yeah, so thanks for coming in here. We appreciate you rising and grinding with us. Man, uh, we want you to tell the listeners and viewers who you are. Who is Rashawn Jones? Where'd you grow up? What high school did you go to? And what's your zodiac sign? For mm. sure, Taurus, for sure. Oh, oh, right. Right. <laughs> yes, uh, well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for reaching out to me. Uh, shout out to Brad Moss and the Mossing family. Hey. Yeah, shout out to the Mossings. He in the comments, too. That's um, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Rashawn Jones. I'm a co-founder of Soul City Boxing and Wrestling Gym, along with my father, Otha Jones Jr., O'Shea Jones, um, Olympic hopeful, um, Otha Jones III, uh, professional boxer, 5-0. and oh. And, um, you know, I'm grateful to be here. Uh, we lost a lot of lives. Um, you know, being where we're at in the inner city with kids coming in, younger kids coming coming out. And uh, we're just a nonprofit organization that help inner city kids uh, fight childhood obesity, um, graduate high school, graduate college, and some people, you know, they don't even uh, go to college. They go to trade school. That's dope. And, um, you know, we're just trying to lead those individuals into the right direction. That's dope. I love it. Yes. So you said you started it with your father? Yes. How long has, well, when did you guys start it, first of all? Um, we started in 2009, um, but uh, we we first started in the living room, you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. You know, with the You said you grew up in what side of town? I grew up um, on all sides of town, uh, West Toledo mostly. Um, what school did you go to? I went to start high school. Okay, Cherry. Roy C. I graduated <laughs> from start. Did you graduate from start? Yeah, I graduated You graduated from, from start, start yes. too? Hey, Spartans. Yeah. <laughs> Roy C. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Did right. you try college at all when you came out? Um, yes. Um, I tried. I, I went to Owens Community College and okay. uh, University of Toledo. I was in post-secondary, so I was in college when I was in high school. So. Okay. So what were you smart. going to college for? Um, business management. Okay. Um, which, which is what I'm doing now. Oh, yes. Awesome. Awesome. Excuse me. So, uh, was your father like always? Was your father a boxer back in his um, younger yes. days? Uh, and my like, father, my father was into combat sports. And my mother was um, into basketball. She was very athletic. Um, she still is, uh, but uh, she's also incarcerated. Free my mom. Oh, wow. Free mom. Free mom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she ain't hold it down. <laughs> I'm holding down for her. For um, sure. Yeah. For sure. Sending her money and everything like that. But um, wow. You know, people go through things. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I just want to keep her name alive. And, yeah. 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 Sarah. I know her son is you know doing great things. What's her name? Janetta Miles. Yeah. yeah. Shout, Shout out to Janetta. Yeah. Janetta. Yes. Janetta. P O P. Janetta. We got it. Yes. I love it. I I think I appreciate you being transparent about that and just saying you know because there's so many people that watch our show all over the world. We are the number one podcast voted 2020 in the Toledo City Paper. Yeah, and so um, you know everybody goes through mm -hmm. things and you can be going through something right now and be behind bars or whatever it is that you're going through that doesn't mean that you're a bad person mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that your life is over you mm -hmm. still have a whole life ahead of you exactly. and you can turn things around so I love that you're keeping your mom's name alive and yeah. holding it down for her sure. that's a beautiful thing yes. so, so you said you're a boxer too you're 5-0 and oh? yes no I'm 3-0 and oh. you're 3-0 oh? um, so a undefeated trainer, period right, I mean, <laughs> <I'm a trainer. laughs> knockouts hey. okay. Okay. so you got a family full of athletes yeah right? family, family full of athletes that's dope. So, so you have no choice but to be great. Right. Yeah. Are you the older brother or the younger brother? Yeah, I'm brother? the older brother. Okay. I'm the one, you know, that hold things down and, you know, keep everything going. So you have to have them hands together. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and your sister, you said, is uh, Olympic hopeful. Yes. She's uh, training for the Olympics? Yes. Um, wow. They, um, compete, That's amazing. They compete in Argentina in May. She's you said it. it so cool, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like you said what she do. Right, you said it like He's it's used a to it by now. Like, I mean, that's yeah, huge. Um, I've been hearing her name for a while. She's been boxing all over the world for a minute. Actually, she's dope. Like, she's been fighting for, I don't know. I don't think so. A no, lot of our okay. family is from down south in Tennessee and uh, oh, Pensacola, okay. Florida. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, my sister O'Shea's getting ready for the Olympics in uh, That's amazing. Tokyo. That is well, the, well, before you make it to the Olympics, you got to qualify for the Olympics. Right, okay. Which is in Argentina, South America. She, they, they compete in May 26, I wow. think. Wow. And uh, once she wins top four or something like that, well, she's probably going to get gold. Yeah. Um, but um, then you qualify for the Olympics. Are wow. You nice? Oh, yeah, for That's sure. Amazing. Wow. That's amazing. That is so dope. Yeah, that is dope. But prior to this Olympics, we, we had a kid 
that we trained named Charles Conwell, Bad News Conwell. He's uh, 14 and 0, 15 and 0 right now in the mm. moment. Wow. And um, he had a tragic fight with Patrick Day. Patrick Day ended up passing away during the fight. <gasps> oh, uh, wow. Uh, RIP to Patrick Day. Oh, my. Wow. And um, Jesus. Wow. He made it to the Olympics in Rio in um, 2016. So this, when I said it's so normal, it's because like, this is what we do. Yes, that's so. dope. That's commendable. Because wow. coming from a small city like Toledo and sending people to the Olympics, was yeah, Charles Conwell from here too? Or you he's just... from Cleveland. Okay, he, so he's from he Ohio. He went to Scott High School. Um, wow. You know, commuting back and forth. Yeah. And uh, but he graduated from Cleveland. So oh, wow. Yeah. Put out them good no, boxes, for real. Bro. Toledo got yeah. Toledo got some heavy hitters. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. Sure. for real. For real. Devin Vargas, he was Olympics. Wasn't Shout out to Albert Bell. Albert Bell. Albert Easton. Jared. He just won that fight not too long ago. Robert Easter. Yeah. Y'all got some heavy hitters. Wesley Tucker went to Olympics too, right? Wesley Tucker went to Olympics? No, Wesley Tucker. No, but they just uh, no. they just went back. They just came back from. Um, at, they were down in Atlanta. Yeah, they had a fight down there. Right, right, uh, Wesley right. Tucker and, uh, and um, Antoine, Jones. Antoine Jones. Yep, oh, they were down there in uh, Philippe was Atlanta. Yep. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. you train some of these people. Um. Yep. Coming up. Um. I I trained with them. Okay. But most of the people that I trained was strictly from South City. Mm -hmm. I just grew up, you know, in, in the area with Albert Bell, Robert Easton. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all came up wow. together. That's yeah. dope. That is. How so, does that make you feel? Um, you, it makes me feel like I have a job to get more, you know, kids and, and young people like that on that path, mm -hmm. so they won't go down the wrong. Yeah. Path. Do you yeah. have children yourself? Yes, I have two daughters. Oh, okay. How are they into it? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, no, they're more girly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they, but, they, but they can knock some some stuff out if they need um, to. I was I've, been hearing, I've been hearing a lot of complaints at daycare. Okay, <laughs> good. That's all you need. That's all you need to know. She stands up for herself. You don't want her to be fighters, though. You want to be little nah, ladies. I, I kind of want my kids to get into law. Right. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? The business side of things. Yes. Yeah. That's Need dope. somebody on the business side. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I love that. Yeah. So you you probably you have two girls. You don't have any boys yet. No. Um, so this probably satisfies you a lot and being able to see, like you said, you taking these young mm -hmm. young guys, these young boys, and um, give them you know something positive to do. And I would think too. Um, I know I have an eight year old little boy, and he has some type. Sometimes he has like some aggression. You know, I see aggression in right. him sometimes, and I'm like, um, he needs like. I bet that probably is a good release for like young boys who you know have are dealing with things going through life, and they can like kind of take it out on the bags. Exactly. <laughs> um, I was as I was passing in here, I see the choices behavior um center is here we partnered with them a wow. couple years ago and one of the things that we implemented was how to control your emotions how to control your anger when to let it out and when to hold it in you know so that's positive dope. reinforcement that's yes. what we focus on a lot in because, boxing because yeah. being a boxer when you get mad you can't just go out there and yes. fight right Thank you. Yes. Right. Yes. right you yes. gotta like and, and yes you're right you know but like when you're in the ring and somebody hits you real hard you can't get mad and get emotional right. and, go, and throw the game plan out the window you right. gotta stay Think behind your jab, jab. Mm. Yeah. you know what i mean break them down you know yeah. just like life you know what yeah. i'm saying wow yeah that's beautiful that's and beautiful. you said you start at the age of five yes five years old okay so do you have a lot of moms or like you know people who bring their kids at five like go because i feel like okay i have a seven-year-old about to be eight and my four-year-old to be five and i'm ready for them to get like some kind of structure you right. know what i'm saying because like my oldest he did basketball for a minute but when you're like you know kindergarten that age they don't really like you know they don't really enforce too yeah. much rules mm -hmm. it's not right. like you know so i feel like structure right. especially my son getting older like my oldest I want to fight him. <laughs> you know, oh, I know like, what you mean. But it's like I'm, 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 I'm open. Oh, my microphone keeps going out. My microphone went out. But um, so like, oh, it? yeah, it's like gone. Mine too, but it's okay. okay. I can still hear you. Oh, okay. So like, you know, I'm a woman. So I'm looking at him and it's like, I want you to be a man, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Right, right. So, you know, I, but I feel like boys need that structure. So do you have a lot of people who bring their kids in from young and like you've seen them grow? Oh, from yeah, five for sure. Um, I have a kid right now who's 16, 16 years old and I've been coaching him since he was six years old. Wow. Oh, um, my God. You know, I, this is something I've been doing since I was 16. You know, it's like a side hustle, you yeah. know, um, had a kids because I, I, I went to start high school. I yeah. wrestled. I was three times state yeah. qualified state place in wrestling oh wow <laughs> and um kid people brought their kids to me to get them good for wrestling wow. you know, for which a lot of kids play football they mm -hmm. want to learn how to position people yes. with football um i trained a lot of kids with that so this time i've been doing you know what i mean it's like second nature to me so yeah. you know That's structure cool. is very good for kids and plus when you put them in sports like that that make them think real mm -hmm. fast yeah. mm -hmm. it's better for them in school and yeah. it's better for them in life you know yeah. I mean? so. and you also build bonds with like the kids you train with too you know what I'm saying like oh, yeah, you know sure. like you grew up yeah. with people like we boxed together growing mm -hmm. up like it's always gonna be that mutual love yeah. and respect mm -hmm. and I feel like boys need that especially like yeah, coming sure. up in mm -hmm. inner cities like like Toledo's like you yeah. need that kind of right. friendship and brotherhood for sure you know we, we talk to kids about 
getting a bank account. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, getting good credit. Stuff you know that right we mean? were never taught. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my credit score would be way better if I was had this implemented into me when yes. I was, you yes. know, these right. Yeah. Yes. And um, you know, that's what we do. You know, we're that's trying to dope. get people on the right track. You know, it's a lot of grants out, out here, a lot of forgivable loans out here that mm-hmm. people don't even know about or yeah. can't apply loopholes. for because they didn't have a bank account. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So as a black community, we gotta give these kids game. Yeah. 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 And the area that we're in, the graduation, the graduation rate is very low. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if the kids are seeing that, then they're not really I don't need high school, I don't need yeah. a diploma, I don't need to go college. It's a cycle. We gotta break the, the curse. And I, I feel agree. like a lot of kids are already thinking they don't need to go to college. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and like you said, trade I feel like when we were going through high school, nobody talked to us about trade school. Yeah. Right. right. Like nobody t- like what I do now, they weren't telling me I could do this in high right. school. Right. 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 All the time. And I'm so like, I had to wait five, six years later to figure out yeah. Yeah. Now, and now to figure it out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I killed myself working in factories, working yeah. retail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, That's telling me you gotta get a job, you gotta get a job and just fall into this like line mm-hmm. and just be like you don't have to do that like you you are doing something that you love to do I mean I, I like it you know I don't love I it. mean you do, you do because you're still doing it you right. wake up every day yeah. and go hard for it so you do have love for it it does be overwhelming it does right. yeah. and that was gonna be my next question like what's your biggest challenge doing that dealing with all these kids you know from inner cities and families the and biggest stuff like that? challenge is seeing someone that you coach from six years old well first financial keeping mm-hmm. the gym open yeah. you know what I mean but yeah after that, you know, it's seeing a kid that you you coach, you know, you gave him game, you polished him up, and then he want to do things his way, mm-hmm. then he end up getting killed in the mm-hmm. streets. Mm-hmm. You know, oh God, it's been that's about heartbreaking. Seven, eight times something like oh that. Oh my that happened, God! You know, seeing you know, young kids, you know, try to get that fast money, or mm-hmm. you know, don't want to get the slow money because boxing is slow money. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna get a check until you pro. Right. And then when you turn pro, it's really gonna you you, you, you keep, you're gonna be getting thousand, yes. fifteen hundred. That's Longevity. your that's your bills that you have. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. In order to get big fights, you gotta or big checks, you gotta get bigger fights and bigger money. Yeah, you know, so people be trying to get that fast life and they they fall off, you know, and, and get, you know. And, it, and it's like the lifestyle they see too. Like I said, social media is a big thing. They see everybody flexing yeah. with that money, and they mm-hmm. want it too, mm-hmm. and they want it too. And it's sad, like you said. So it's, it's the right now so generation. Right better than no, it is. Mm-hmm. It's microwave society. Literally, yeah, like instant yep. gratification. I need it now. I need it right now. My money, and I need it now. <laughs> right, 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 right. 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 And it just it does suck to see these young kids pass away. Like you know, yeah, I see it's uh, very sad. one of my Facebook friends was a coach, a basketball coach at one point too, and he also like suffers from the like loss of students he's yeah. coached. And it's right. like you do build bonds. I'm like you train this kid for the one you said six to sixteen, ten years, y'all. That's family. Yeah. That's yeah. That's point. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Absolutely. So it's like that is heartbreaking. Like yeah. you know, and then I, I I told you not to do that. Yeah. yeah. Right. And and we, I was gonna say I bet that weigh on you. Like yeah, man, we didn't sure. have conversations. You could have came to my yeah. house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We just le- we just lost uh, um, our coach Brian Smith. Mm. Oh, um, rest in peace, Brian. Right Smith. before uh, so Thanksgiving. Sorry. And. Um, we, we, we're still trying to find answers about that you know no one knows what happened yeah. um, he had three daughters or two daughters and two sons wow. and um, you know his kids are now our kids you know what yeah. I'm saying so you know this is something that we're just trying to break the, the generational curse that yeah. we have right. with, uh, what do you think it's going to take Leadership, um, mute the rap music. Yeah, uh, what we see on TV. If, if that don't change, none, nothing's gonna change. And that's some the real. Music, the yeah. music industry Still. is um, glorifying death and drugs, mm-hmm. and you know they they saying they're not talking about credit scores on rap right, songs. Right, they're talking right. about f this, popping the pills, getting the. I listen know, to it, club, but I'm yeah. saying I listen to it. You know, to, you know to, yeah. to get me out, you know, my zone. But right. it's, I know it's wrong. Yeah. Right, know I mean? right. But these younger kids, they getting they programmed off. Their mind ain't you know. mature enough to they understand it. Yeah. Exactly. And you know what's crazy is mu- music really. It, it, it does, but it does something to your brain chemically. You oh, know yeah, what I'm saying? Sure. It programs music it. is yeah. real. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like when you hear uplifting music, like for example, I have a friend and he tells me he's like every morning I listen to like positive songs. He's yeah. like, I'll be driving around and just listen to like uplifting music. Mm-hmm. And he was like, because you know, like that other stuff, it really will right. bring. It will make you feel some type of yeah. way. Like you the, hear a sad song, the now government, you're crying, yeah. Because you know, yeah. now, now you think about yeah. a situation that you can relate yeah. to. Exactly. That, to that. Yeah. Yeah. The government yeah. knows the type of tones that your brain absolutely can get hooked on things. Absolutely, and that's why they had the music in- industry on lock. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's why you see the, the people who are making it and getting the deals right. because it's the people who they, they know are basically going to, yeah, you know. Right. Right. And they go back to Africa. All you know, the way back. Mm-hmm. was doing the drums. Yeah. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. That's how they was doing their spirituality. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. That's yeah. how they connected yeah. with the heavens music and the gods. Deep. Music deep. Deep. The beats and the vibrations yeah. and right. the tones. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. That's why, like, honestly, like, right now, I used to be a big rap head. Like, especially, like, coming up in high school and stuff, like, when Lil Wayne was dropping mixtapes 
and it was it was fire. Like Young Money had just came out. Mm-hmm. I was on it, mm-hmm. and now it's Hot like girl. Listen, I, I could my friends literally. I, well, I grew up around all boys too. Like I grew up around uncles. Me and my sisters were the only girls of the family, so like we heard boy music all the time, especially mm-hmm. in Chicago. Mm-hmm. Like rap was huge, mm-hmm. huge. So now that I'm older. Like, I don't even want to hear that. Yeah, like, me play me some Especially R&B. Especially what they're saying yeah. now. Yeah, play me some Masigo. Like, play me some Masigo. We talk about it all the time. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't want to hear nobody. What do you say, Harold? <laughs> I don't want to hear nobody talk about fucking my girl while I'm at work. I don't. <laughs> hey, you know what, Harold? Every time like, I hear that song by Moneybag Yo now, it's a song where he says something about, um, he says something about uh, flying a, I'm going to fly your girl out to a place she ain't she never, never, she right, never yeah. knew exists. I always think about Harold now. Like, I swear to God. He's like, I started looking at places I ain't know. Right. <laughs> 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 you know that? Right. Like, right. 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 And when, <laughs> no, you're about to order this. I caught a case, and I was I was on the ankle monitor, and I was at home in the shower, and I was listening to Jeezy. Yeah. And Jeezy was rapping about some of the same shit that I got in trouble about. Yeah. And I'm on the ankle monitor, and he free. Yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Like it don't make it don't make it sense. Don't make to no, me. The math is the math. You know what I'm yeah, it's cool because yeah, everybody yeah. like Jeezy. If you if you talk about that, you a hater. You ain't cool. But he glorified something that I just got in trouble for. Like my life is at stake now. You know yes. So it make you it make you look at it different. Yeah. I was looking at eight years. See, you, know you was mean? listening to Jeezy and doing exactly. the stuff Jeezy exactly. was doing. Yeah. Exactly. And Jeezy was, was out was here lying. My brain he was like, talking about his friend. Jeezy yeah. made it though. He had money to get bailed. <laughs> that's just right. like that, that's just like you know Jeezy. I mean, if you think about it, and listen, I love Jeezy. I'm listen, and I love Jeezy. Jeezy. I love Jeezy. Let me let me tell you, Jeezy is my husband. He just don't know it yet, and neither does his his fiance. But that's okay. You you a married monster wife? Yes, I'm a married both of them. They both look good. She can all have a happy family. Thank you. They need a little Aries and they like it. <laughs> Period. They need a little bit, you know, a little bit of Latina spice. Oh, <laughs> but um, no, but seriously, but he he Ooh, talks yeah. about in his music, you know, the street life, this, 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 that. Yeah. But he, I bet you, he posted a picture of his son who he sent to college, who oh, graduated yeah. college. Right, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. he, he, his sons ain't in that life. He's gonna make sure his kids ain't in that life. But that's what he was, you know, rapping about. But at the end of the day, that's the whole thing. That's what these kids got to realize. That's not glorifying. You know what I mean? Like you know Jeezy what? ain't sending his kids to the streets. Hey. Jeezy's kids are graduating college. Yeah. Okay. For sure. But now it's like we're changing the dynamics yeah. of right. parenthood. Yeah. We got to yeah. dig deeper than that because we living for our kids' kids. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yes. Yes. You excited about your stimmy? Um, I haven't got um, my last <laughs> two. Get, no, no, I, I got my, my first one, but I didn't get the last two. I didn't get my last two. I don't know. But I feel like to get no I'm waiting to file my taxes for 2019 and 20. So. That's why you're going to get it. Right, that's right in the Soul City box, ain't it? Right. So maybe that's So donate to We got to set up a GoFundMe because we got to help him out. So where is Soul City Boxing? Where is it located? Soul City Boxing is located in Central Toledo, located at 801 Junction. We have a website, soulcitygym.com. Um, but it's down now for some reason, and um, if anyone would like to donate, the website is down. Yes. Okay. Mm. So it's usually a PayPal link on the website, like somebody want to donate, but uh, it's down right now, so they can just send a check if they would like to. do You guys that. don't have a cash app? Um, no, we don't. Oh, okay. Venmo, PayPal. Yeah. I mean, I have one, but uh, if you were trying to get it, <laughs> you were trying to get it as a, as a tax right. right off. Um, no, you know, I'm just saying, like, for if people wanted to donate, maybe because yeah, a lot they, of people are donate using cash to app nowadays. Rashawn Jones. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Throw that I, out there because people will, right. you know. Yeah. So would it be? In, oh, I'm sorry. Go Rashawn ahead. Jones on a uh, Venmo Cash app, and um, if you felt comfortable just writing a check and you wanted to get a tax write off, you know, just send a check to 801 Junction. Okay. okay. So no. what about in the summer? What do you do for like the kids in the summer? Because I know like during the year it's a bit more easier to kind of have like mm-hmm. a schedule. Mm-hmm. So in the summer, like, do you guys do a bit more intense like trainings or? Um, we have pros and um, top amateur amateurs when you don't get paid. That's mm-hmm. like Olympics. So. As whatever they have going on, we revolve the programming around them. Okay. So if they have big fights coming on and they got to do a lot of running, yeah. they'll be running. Okay. Um, if, they do, okay. If, they, if they're off oh. and they're doing and they're doing strength training, mm-hmm. then we're going to focus on everyone's going to okay. focus on strength training. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Boxing, I like that. They, like they that. need a lot of sparring, then we're going to spar. Everybody got to wrap up and, get, and spar. Right. Because you know it's, I mean? it's like boxing the same, like seasonal? Like yeah, all okay. year round. Okay. Like there's no, there's no off season. Okay, cool. Now with you COVID know, coming on, did you have to drop any kids? Um... A lot of younger kids did stop, but you know, we all stay together. Like you said, we family. Yeah. So we were around each other. Yeah, anyway. We we still gonna train. If you get sick, you know, you just gonna isolate. You yourself. go quarantine, right, right, right? You know, we wasn't open to the public, you know, but the pros and things like that, they were still training yeah. and things like that. So nice. now 
is getting big again. So we uh, we also have Frank White, um, Fast Track Boxing. You know who 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 combined with us? He he's there with us, mm -hmm. and um, so that's two teams in one. So. Okay. All right. Well, here we're here with our boy Roshan Jones with Soul City Boxing and Wrestling Gym. We're having a great conversation. We're going to take a quick break. Want to say shout out to yes, of the yes. Rise and Grind Morning so, Show. So. Send your info to Rise and, and Grind at the 419grind.com and you can become a sponsor of our show. So keep it locked right here. We're coming right back. Mm -hmm. Morning show. Presented by 419 The Grind. <laughs> Oh, welcome back, Thank welcome you. back. You, like that. you are tuned into the all new Rise and Grind Morning Show with your, with your girl Leah Renee. With your girl Leah Renee. Shake cake. Like. No, you did. I'm not going to quit lying because that is time. You do your hands like this because if you do your hands like you this. You interrupt her. I'll just go ahead. Go ahead, Leah. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back, welcome back. You are tuned into the all new Rise and Grind Morning Show with your girl Leah Renee, Shake cake, Clyde Green, and Jay. Oh, and our guest co host Ness is here today. What's up? And we got our boy Roshan Jones in a building, hey, so Soul City Boxing and Wrestling. And yeah, so um, I was wondering, uh, how does it work now, like with the memberships and everything? Because you guys, first of all, you said you guys got something new now, right? You guys are right. doing something with horses? Yes, horseback riding. Talk about this. Um, this we, is this is interesting. It is. In the, in, in the middle and of the inner city. city. So no, like, like, uh, but that's how all like, in, in the hood with the horses. Yes, like how yeah, is this going to happen? There's other um, black cowboys as well. Right. But, I love um, that. We're just one of them. Yeah, okay. we love to see it. So how is this going to be incorporated? Um... We are going, well, Monday through Friday, we have boxing training from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That's the first session. The second session is 5 to 7 p.m. in the evening. From 12 p.m. to 3 p.m., you know, we got to feed the horses because horses eat twice a day. So okay. Kids who say get in trouble or disrespect around home, their parents make them come with me. I have them go out there, you know, clean out the horse stalls, feed the horses, brush wow. them down, so things like that. Teach them responsibility. Yeah. Teach them how to deal with animals. Um, oh and, all, and it's also therapeutic. You know what I mean? Yeah. You my know, son people, would love that. Oh my God. He some loves Some people horses. have so much anger built up when yeah. you actually can see, like, you can tame a, a big beast. Beast, you yeah. know what I mean? And, you yeah. know, brush them down and things like that. Wow. It does something to you. I can't yeah. tell you what it does, but it's, 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 it's relaxing. a relief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's cleaning up manure can humble right. you too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Real quick. Yeah. 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 Steak flies everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. To yeah. Honey. My kids would be puking. <laughs> right. Yeah, mom. But it teaches them res responsibility. Yeah. And, um, and during the weekends, you know, sometimes we take them to the park and ride. We just wow. purchased a trailer so we can that is so amazing. Yeah. I love that. That is dope. And, um, when, they, when they warm up, we know we're going to have like a a set location in the gym, you know, people can come, you know, get rides, you know, get some couple lessons. I love a that. Bit. That's so dope. And uh, we're just trying to keep people busy and active, you know, in the inner city, especially young black males. You know, mm -hmm. the, the death rate is very high. Yeah. You know, yes. You know what I mean? So you got to find things, you know, for them to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for for a parent who wants to get their child involved um, or get a membership, how does that work? How um, is the, How are the membership? How much do they cost? And then, like, what is included in a membership? We're in the inner, inner city, so some people can't really afford it. You know what I mean? If they can just come in and talk to to us at 801 Junction and um, you know come talk so to the So every situation is kind of different? Every situation okay, gotcha. is different. I love that. I yeah, love that. Nice. Um, That's cool. You know, some kids can't afford it. You know, we yeah. have a set price, you know, but there's other ways you can, you know, yeah. get those. those yeah. Those That's dope. I love that. Yeah, That's yeah. amazing. That's, real nice. That's so amazing because, um, like you said, there are so many young kids that are in the inner city there. Um, they, they have aggression built up. You know, they're frustrated. They don't know what to do with it. And if you give them a positive outlet, you know, to, you know, get that out, then we, we, we'll see less of this, you know, Wow, violence exactly. and things mm -hmm. in the street so right. i love what you guys are doing That's and i think beautiful. it's amazing yeah, i'm yes. glad that you came in today to talk to us about about it you know and um i'm definitely gonna be looking into it because mm -hmm. my son literally loves horses and he's he says all the time he wants to be um a zookeeper when right. he gets older so he would like enjoy That's that like dream. he sure. would love that i mean he's been saying it since he was like that three so cute. and it's still he still says it to his day so <laughs> my son he likes animals too yeah but he only four so we got well he would be four in june so we got another right. year then yeah, he i'm definitely gonna bring <laughs> sure. my son down there my and talk girls to you guys. are the oldest so, so. Sean, what, what, what you like better you like wrestling or boxing um wrestling I was say uh, that is hard I, I mean i'm better probably at wrestling but uh, wrestling is no money in it. Right. Yeah. I mean, unless you're mm -hmm. WWE. Wow. Right. You know I mean? <laughs> and that stuff ain't even real, huh? It's, it's not, real. It's, 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 it's real playing. It's, it's real playing. It's, it's real. It's, it's, it's <laughs> just a good performance. It's a man's We right. did more real wrestling it's in, at home. No, it's a performance. <laughs> no, but that's real. Whatever you did at home, that's what they do. But they, 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 they <laughs> No, no, no. We was getting hurt. <laughs> they, got, they get hurt too. It's real, but it's it's more of a performance. Stage. Yeah. It's like, okay, you're going to do this, you're going to run across the I'm going to punch you. <laughs> but, so you um, said you like which one better? Um, boxing. Boxing. It, 
I got more money in boxing than yeah. I did wrestling. Which one were you better at? What wrestling. You, wrestling. I broke more records wrestling. Wow. You mm-hmm. know, in uh, the Toledo area. The little yeah. dudes was always and, good at wrestling. Than boxing. <laughs> you know, look. He's I'm big. He, he's big. <laughs> right. Yeah, the smaller, the, the, smaller the smaller people, yeah. you know, they can move more. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Wiggle, wiggle about the situation. Right, right. right. You know, and I can play good in both departments. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Have you done any uh, like uh, Brazilian jiu jitsu? Yeah, for sure. Uh, we do MMA training too as well. Wow. I do. That okay, wow. Dumb. I love That's that. Dumb. Yeah. On yeah. top, on top, you know. Um, How you like that? It's cool. Yeah. Um, I, I would, I would rather stand you. Yeah. But uh, mm-hmm. if I feel you know getting off a little bit. You know, I'm going to grab you and take you to the ground. Yeah, yeah. Right. All that just make my uh, joints ache. That's Listen. Right. <laughs> but you got you to gotta learn how to do it, though. Yeah. You know, you got to somebody attack you. you right. Know, you got to know how to kill them up off. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, sure. Julian, just this, it don't matter what, how big you are. You can take somebody down. Oh, absolutely. Sure. You can hurt somebody. You can put somebody to sleep. And the pinning, man. Yeah. 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 No, no, that's that's more so more you sound like you're ready to yeah. put on your work right? Well, well, no, like I said, I, I, grew, up, I grew up around a lot of boys, so like Brazilian jiu-jitsu. And like so you got a lot of headlocks and sleeper holes. Yeah, and stuff like, on I you. can yeah. get me out some stuff yeah. now. Like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna hold me. Right. I have my record. I'm She's little, but I'm big body. Like, right, right. You know, boys are rough. So like my guy yeah. cousins, and even like my uncles are six and three years older than me. So when WWF and stuff was out, like I said, we was getting hurt. I was getting hit with the same oh. thing under, like, real quick. Wow. Wax That's up, real. wax up. This is crazy. This <laughs> <laughs> are Miyagi type stuff. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> now with that, do y'all do like some type of meditation um, Oh, yeah, for sure. Yoga. Too? When we do yoga. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. We try to do yoga at least 15, 20 minutes out of our um, workout, you know, and it's quiet, you know. And every day? Like every time? Two times a week. Okay. Nice. You know, and it's you visualizing, you winning. Okay. And, wow. Yeah. Doing your, I love you know, your it. goals and things like that. Remember, mm-hmm. we had that. Uh, you said this Before they get up. into this, can you tell everybody where to find you on social media? Um, They can find me at um, Google me, Rashawn Jones. Okay. Google him. Google yeah. him. Yeah. Serious. Yeah. Boxing gym. <laughs> now, on to this scenario. <laughs> Here we go. The closure in many of your lessons have arrived. You're on a brink of overcoming things that forced you to deal with it far way too long. Your renewed sense of energy is prepared to move you into a new level of creativity and thinking. This is a world of popularity. The things that you have went through has now flipped into making you grow. Life is changing for the better and your upgrades have arrived. Hey. A word. Yes. I love it. A word. I love it. My uh, smaller packages, I offer intimate steaming too for men and women. Intimate steaming. Yes, yeah, so like yoni steaming and, and lingam steaming. <laughs> Like penis steaming. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh. Yeah, because that's a lingam and he didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. 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 you got the steam yeah. 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 So I offer that too, but um, one of my smaller packages comes with a facial, a Brazilian with a vajayshow, and a steam for 99 a month. And <laughs> I'm over here like, oh, no, they, oh, they love it. The men love the steam. Oh, I bet, so. oh, I bet they do. <laughs> <laughs> one for $10 off. After today, it's a wrap till Christmas. So mm. to get in, to get in. Look at it. Wow. Wow. Right it will be the last You're day. Sign today. Up. The last day. We'll up. talk services. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. So you can come get a massage and a facial. A little, Literally, a little clear coat. Now let yeah. me ask you this. <laughs> <laughs> so, careful rub. Do you guys rub? collaborate in that way with the membership? Like, say, I don't want to get my little thing waxed, but I want to get a facial and like a massage. Can you get that together? So or? we do, but not in packages. Okay, gotcha. So like.